Okay, Roma plus 165, host Juve plus 185. I think they've got that wrong straight away on the money line. Um, draw is at plus 215. The under or over? Well, the under two is at plus 100, but the over two is minus 120. Now, that's lopsided because I'm saying it, it is right, but it is lopsided because if Juve, or sorry, if the under two is at plus 100, then the over two should be at minus 135. So you, if you like the over or the under, you're getting great value. Um, Mina, I see Juve here not getting beat. And if you're giving me an insurance policy of plus 100, I'm not sure both teams score neither. The more I look at this, the more actually I feel like I should change my pick. So I, I agree with you. In my head, I was thinking this is either a draw or a win for Juventus. But Mourinho yeah. probably, well, he was sent off and he will be missing two matches for Roma. Obviously, that's being appealed right now to see whether or not he can be back on the bench for this match. But it's highly unlikely. Um, even if he is, what, what Roma have up front is so blunt. They just, really, when you're playing with two number 10s in Pellegrini and Dybala, you don't have Tammy Abraham. You have Belotu, who is, I don't know, frankly, I think should retire at this moment in time. Um, I, I, I know that sounds like pretty harsh, but... He's a good player. He's just not good enough for what Roma need right now to score the goals. I think the only real danger that I see coming in their direction is El Sharawi. And facing a defence as, as strong as Juve's, and I know it hasn't looked strong because they took a lot of defensive risks against Torino in that match, which was a little bit crazy. But I just think that you never know. However, Roma were missing Smalling against Cremonese. He will be back for this match. He is essential to the back line for Roma. You feel like their defence is a lot more secure with them. Now, these two sides are very good at set pieces. So you can imagine most of their goals will come via, you know, if they do score, it will be via a corner, via a free kick, one of those ways. But you look at the individual quality, Pogba back, Chiesa are available up front, Vlaovic, uh, Di Maria, I don't know where, where to start. You just Even don't... Kostic did all right midweek. He's been brilliant with the assists as well. You're, you're entirely right in doing that, um, in, in saying that. And even when you think of like someone from set pieces, you think of Bremer and Danilo have been brilliant in scoring those you know, headers. So I just think the overall individual quality, Juventus has enough and more creativity with Di Maria available than what Roma have at the moment. Because Di Bala, when you need the, the team to sort of look up and rely on a the leader, there's not enough of that in the Roma team. So either they play a very defensive game and try to really stifle the Juve and it's a 1-0 victory for them. Um, and that's where I think maybe a draw can come into play. But otherwise, this should honestly be a Juventus win. I agree. I agree, Matty. Are Juve going to let us down? I remember Juve went like seven or eight games with like hardly letting a goal in on the road. You, uh, Roma are not exactly flush with goals. Juve have got more threats. Joining the party week in, week out. Yeah, I mean, Ju Juventus, they have been playing great defense, but Roma have been playing great defense at home really all season as well. Um, these teams rank second and fourth in goals allowed this season um, towards the bottom of the table. So they have been, these are really two defensive minded sides is, is what you would think on paper. Now, just going based on numbers here, I think all of these numbers on the screen are correct. Roma has a slight edge if you're just looking at numbers here. They're scoring 1.18 goals at home. Juventus is scoring exactly one on the road. Um, Roma is conceding 0 0.45 goals at home. Juventus is conceding 0 0.82 goals um, on the road this season. So their average number of goals per match um, for these teams, respectively, home and away, is only 1.73. So I think the total is correctly set at 2. Um, and I think the handicap at minus 120 for Roma on draw no bet is also right. Now, with that said, I do think Juventus is the better team overall. And I think there's value on that draw no bet. Um, but as far as anything else goes in this game, I, I think you have to pass on the total here. Because I don't think there's much of a shot of this going over two goals. Um, or really over two and a half goals. Over two and a half is only going to grade out at 18%. Um, which is a low for this round of Serie A. Both teams to score also grades out at 18%. Um, the league average is 50%. You have Juventus, who's keeping clean sheets in 64% of road matches, and Roma keeping a clean sheet in 55% of home matches. So this, to me, seems like it will be a defensive battle, and one goal is, is likely enough to win this game. And if not, then we're probably looking at a 1-1 draw. I was so close to going Roma not to score a plus 180. But the thing is with Juve, they do invite pressure. Um, and Roma have got some quality, even though on the talent matchup, 
of each individual. Juve are streets ahead. Let's have a little look at the official picks here because for me, it's all about the away side not getting beat and getting something out of the game. Um, yeah, Mina's gone for exactly the same. Juventus pick them plus 100, which is the same as draw no bet at plus 100.